Maine police raced to a park this afternoon on reports that human remains had been found. Turns out it was a false alarm. Now at 5, Jake Wow walks us through what was found and what triggered the large response. Jake? Well, it just happened before 3 p.m. A fisherman's line snag that actually happened just behind me here at Weggers and Gardens in Dayton. He thought it was a body, so he called 911. Dayton police arrived at 3 p.m. and they were investigating what the remains were. Why is this such a big deal? Well, Zayden McKnight has been a missing four year old and he's been missing since March. His mother, Nichelle McKnight, was, her body was found uh, upstream in April, only one mile away from our current location. Now, Police received the call. They believed it could have been Zayden, but instead it was rock, a uh, rock, clothes, and a shopping cart, not a body. Police say they will continue the hunt to find Zayden. Well, it's very disappointing. Obviously, I said earlier it's uh, tragic and emotional, and we want closure for that family, and we always hope that we find closure by finding the body of Zayden McKnight. Unfortunately, it's not, but it goes to show you that we will never stop. And closure will not be coming today. However, the investigation will continue uh, moving forward here in Dayton. Reporting now in Dayton, Jake Ryle, 2 News, working for you.